Today I'm going to share with you five tips I have for garage sailing this summer season and also share a quick haul at the end. So I love rummage sales and garage sales and if you're watching this you probably do too or you're wanting to learn how to do more of it but buying secondhand for me is huge. That's how a lot of our home is furnished how we um, clothe ourselves with second hand. And so I thought I would share some tips of what I found helpful throughout my several years of practicing this throughout the spring and summer months. So my first tip is to keep a running list. I have on my phone that I have collected for the summer a list of items I am specifically looking for while I'm out rummaging. And you could also do it on a sheet of paper, leave it in your car, put it in your purse, but this is just have it somewhere where you can have it readily available. And this really also helps you stay on a budget. That way you're not picking up those really cute pair of shoes that you know you already have one similar to it and you don't need, you know, things like that. And I like to just stick to things I know my family needs or I would like to decorate with or that I need. So that is where a list comes in very, very handy. My second tip is to carry cash. So this is hard for those of us who use credit cards all the time, but I am one, I do have cash a lot living in a small town. Not every place even takes cards right now, but definitely have medium to small sized bills as well. So sometimes I'm traveling up to our local city and I see a garage sale sign and I stop and I'm very grateful I have cash because I ended up finding something that was on my list. And another reason to carry medium to small bills is for that um, haggling aspect. Now haggling doesn't come naturally for everybody. I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it but it's something that you have to be okay with doing and also be okay with people saying no. And you also have to be aware of pricing. So if a pair of shoes that are name brand, say a dollar, don't ask for 50 cents. Definitely pay the dollar, it's not worth 50 cents less. Um, but now if there's something that you've been looking for that they say it's $100 and you know it is not worth $100, ask for $50, they can counter offer. Um, just be okay with what they may say or be okay with saying no then to the item if you're not willing to pay that price. But having cash is key during the rummage and garage sale season. All right, my third tip is to be willing to look through junk. Now this can be hard for some people who don't like messes, who like the department style, department store style shopping, but if you really want a good bargain, you might have to look through a tote of, um, for example, for me, 2T clothes and find the pieces that you're looking for for your toddler or if you're looking for specific dishware and it's all just piled in a, on a table, you have to be okay with looking through that if you want to find specific pieces. I do think that is where I have found a lot of my best items is looking through the so-called junk or stopping at the garage sales that look like all it has is junk, but that's often where they just wanna get rid of it and so prices are good and it just helps you find those pieces you might be really needing or wanting. Fourth tip is to go often. Now this is very similar to thrift stores, but there is rummage sales all week long and weekends especially. I live in a rural town and so often there's local towns that do citywide garage sales. So we'll pack up our vehicle with kids drink snacks go for a morning and go garage sailing and it's just so fun too and that's where you often do find good deals because there's so many rummages and it's just a fun experience for me too also check those um, online websites of cities if you need if they might list when their citywide rummages are or area wide if you still get newspapers like we do they often have them on there or someone Personally, we'll put their garage sale on their Facebook marketplace. Also, people list their rummages on there. So definitely check those areas if you are looking for specific things. People list what they have or when garage sales will be popping up. My fifth 
tip is to be okay with not finding what is on your list in the summer that you're looking for it. So I have been looking for certain things for a couple summers now and it's not obviously a priority. So I just have been okay with not finding some of the items that are on my list. I'll look for them at antique stores and thrift stores as well, but you know, if it's something that you really truly want and you want it good quality, then you might have to be okay with not finding it in the specific summer. I recommend finding something that you really know you'll love and take care of and not regret buying. So be okay with not finding everything on your list. So those are my five tips. I know I have shared other tips in previous summers, but those are ones I kind of just really thought helped me with rummaging. And now I'm gonna just share my quick haul. I found a ton of newborn baby girl clothes and my toddler clothes at a citywide rummage actually several weeks ago. And everything was 25 or 50 cents for these clothes. So I'm just gonna cruise through what I found here. Carter brand little three month romper. An Eddie Bauer snap bottom onesie. This adorable little tank top and short set with a cute little bird. The brand is um, Carter as well. And then this cute little elephant set, Carter's as well for newborn. I could not pass up this adorable vintage looking dress with little bloomers. I have one similar to it, but the other one is three month. This one is newborn. So definitely will be dressing my little girl in this cute little thing. And then this nice swaddle blanket. I wanna say it's an Aiden. Oh, here it is. Yes, Aiden blanket swaddle. And I love this brand. It just has some birds on it. And there might be a few things I'm missing, but now to my toddler clothes here. Just a baby gap striped blue and white tee. My little girl needed a few more summer clothes. She had just athletic type shorts, so these pink pair of shorts. They are geranimals. Then these blue jumping bean capris. I can't pass up cute dresses, especially when they're 25 cents. The Health Techs brand. Now this one is a size too big for her, but she'll be there sooner than I know it. And it's an Old Navy, cute pink and white striped with pockets. And then um, even shoes were 25 cents. These Vans brand shoes were 25 cents. They're a little bit um, faded, but they have cute sparkles. They are a size too big again, but this will be good for the fall for my toddler. These adorable boots, again, a size too big, but 25 cents, couldn't pass those up. Not sure the brand on these. Oh, Cat and Jack. And then these adorable little Toms that are sparkly, like Mary Jane style, 25 cents. And then I did find a few things for some um, nieces of mine. This cute blouse, it's Gap. These Levi pants. This tunic heart dress. A health text, I think it's a tee or it could be like a tunic as well. And I know I missed a few pieces because I've already had my daughter wearing several pieces and tuck some away for baby as well. Um, but then I also found, I found these two galvanized buckets. I had that on my list. I always love picking up galvanized and they were $5 a piece. So that was a steal and of course I would not have to haggle on that so I found those and then these two wooden trellises for 25 cents a piece which I thought would be really cute leaning against my garage with maybe maybe some um, peas growing up them or if I get a vining plant or even just as extra accent 
So that is really all I found over this last weekend. But again, I wanted to stick to my list. I did not need to find extra things, even though I knew I could have picked up extra things. But I hope you enjoyed this haul and can use these five tips that I shared for your summer rummage and garage sale experiences. All right, love you guys and talk with you in the next one. Bye.